Alright, so in today's video, I'm going to be going over the top 5 best defenders to solo queue and rank up with in Rainbow Six Siege. Now I did explain this in my last video where I went over the top 5 attackers to rank up with. I'll put that in the top right, right here. But essentially, I'm going to only be recommending you operators that are either flex or support. I think I'm also going to make a video on what each of the roles are for each operator in Rainbow Six Siege so that you can actually get a better feel for what that means. Um, but basically, just operators that are going to help you get kills or help your team win rounds if they're out doing the kills for you. With all that being said, let's get into it. Alright, so coming into our number 5 spot is going to be Legion. Now the reason that I selected Legion for this list is because he provides a lot of information and utility to your team without you actually having to be there. This is something that I talk about whenever I talk to new players about wanting to know what operators to pick, is pick people that provide utility to your team even when you die. People like Rook are great for people who are starting out, Legion, Capcan, any trap operators really. Uh, any people that can provide any sort of cameras, stuff like that. Legion is very good in the sense that he has a very easy gun to use, a very good gun for how easy it is. He is very easy to play. You just set down his traps throughout the round. It rewards wasting time for the attackers because the longer you're alive, the more goo mines you get. And it also rewards roaming, but he can also be played in a multitude of ways. He can be played to roam. He can be played to anchor. He can be played for information with his mines. He can be played to waste time. So he's really good as a flex operator, and if you're just getting into the game and you want to know who to pick or to buy, Legion is a great pick. For his loadout, he has the T5 SMG. He also has the shotgun that has a silencer on it. Always pick the SMG. It's always going to be the better choice. He has a secondary handgun that you can pick, and impacts and a bulletproof camera. You're normally going to want to pick impacts over a bulletproof camera any day. There are certain sites where a bulletproof camera is good, but He's good to make rotations if you're wanting to roam across the map and just have a little bit more map control, but also if you want to make rotations for sight if you're anchoring or for your teammates. All around, Legion is very, very good. Coming into our number four spot, this may be a surprise to some of you, but I'm going to put Capcan. Now the reason for this being, again, is like I discussed with Legion, you put down traps and even if you die, you're still providing utility to your team. Cap can, especially on maps like Border where there are a bunch of hidden doorways and a lot of open spaces, it's really hard to see his traps and now that you can double stack his traps on doors, you can insta-kill people if they're not checking doors. But if they know that you're there, they're going to be sitting checking every single doorway or archway in the map. This wastes a lot of time and is great if you're wanting to roam, if you're wanting to anchor. Overall, Capcan is a great time waster. His presence is known and felt throughout the entire round, and he's very, very easy to get killed with, especially in the lower unit. Going into his loadout, he has the Sausage 12 or the 9x91. Uh, this shotgun isn't actually too bad, but I do just prefer the SMG um, because I just don't like playing with shotguns. Uh, he has the choice between the GSH or the PMM. The PMM is really good with the amount of damage that it does, but the GSH is really good with the fire rate and the amount of ammo that it has. So it really is personal choice. The only reason I have this gun equipped is because I have a cool skin for it. Uh, and then you have the secondary gadgets. You have Nitro Cell or Impacts. Personally, I play Nitro Cell, especially if I'm anchoring. Um, I just like having some sort of plant denial, some sort of time waster. Impacts are good too if you're roaming or if you just want to make rotates to site because you don't have anything else to do that with. Um, he provides a lot of different utility, a lot of destruction, a lot of explosives. So overall, Cap Can is very good. Coming into our number three spot is going to be Ella. Now, if you watched my tier list video on operators, you know that she is one of, if not the most broken character in the game right now. Her shotgun did recently get nerfed, which is one of the reasons that she was so good. It got nerfed from 35 damage per shot to 25, but it still has incredible range. It still has incredible rate of fire. Um, and even still 25 damage is very, very good. She also has another primary weapon that's really good. Um, but again, Going back to what I was saying about having utility even after you die, she provides three stun grenades that you can put at the top of any doorway or window, and they get slowed, they can't move their mouse as easily, they can't run as fast, they can't hear anything, they can't shoot as fast, so her stuns are very, very good. 
Going into her loadout, she has a Scorpion. Amazing AR. Very, very high fire rate. Okay damage. 40 rounds of ammo inside of it as well. Uh, recoil is pretty easy to manage if you bring Vertical Grip and Compensator. She has a deployable shield. She has barbed wire. So you can make some crazy strats putting like deployable shields on doorways and hiding behind it with a shotgun. Uh, all very, very good things to do. She has the RG-15 handgun that also comes on the Lucy, just a pistol with a sight on it. Very good, especially if you're using the shotgun and you want to get a little bit of range and accuracy off of a weapon. Uh, this pistol is great. But yeah, Ella is just one of the most overpowered agents in the game. She needs to be nerfed. Um, borderline deleted. I mean, she is just crazy. Great for getting frags if you want to roam. Um, so yeah, if you want to rank up, get some easy kills, definitely play Ella. All right, coming into our number two spot is going to be Thunderbird. Now, Thunderbird has three little healing stations that she can place anywhere on the map. So if you get low or you want to be revived, you go to one of these healing stations and they can heal slash revive you. You can get overhealed, so you can heal past the normal amount of health that you should start with. Um, these things recharge after a good amount of time, but they have infinite amount of healing. Overall, very, very good. She has an okay weapon selection. She is a three speed, by the way, so very good if you want to roam. You can bring these stations anywhere you really want to. Um, overall, very, very good. Again, talking about having utility after you die. She has healing stations that any of your team can use. Um, really, the only downfall is if the attackers get into sight, they can use your healing stations, but that doesn't happen too often to be really an issue. But yeah, she provides very, very good utility. You can play a lot more aggressively with your team because you have that extra health that you can always come back to sight to. Going into her loadout, she has the Spear 308. Um, this has a great amount of damage with a little bit low fire rate and a good amount of capacity, so... This AR is pretty okay. I did put it low on my tier list for my gun tier list, which I'll link right here. It really is just that fire rate that kind of puts it down there for me, especially because she only has the hollow, but for Finko, when she has the 2x on this weapon, it's actually not that bad. Uh, going into her secondary, she has the bearing 9 and the Q9. Obviously, you'd bring the bearing. It's just an SMG over a pistol. Uh, easy to control recoil, good amount of damage, 25 rounds. That's pretty much it for that. Going into her secondary gadgets, she has impacts and nitro cell. You're always going to want to bring nitro cell. Um, usually you can put nitro cells under the floor of your healing stations and then once you hear it go off you can nitro and then get an easy kill on an attacker. Um, but that's pretty much all the utility that I can be seeing used from her. She brings a lot to the team, a lot to herself, she has a lot of potential to flex wherever she wants to go, if she wants to roam, if she wants to anchor, she has a good gun selection. So overall very very good for solo queuing. Now before I go into the final operator on this list, the best operator you should be playing on defense to rank up, I do want to go over two honorable mentions. Uh, the first one is going to be Mute. Mute is great, I've talked about him, I made an entire video on him. He has four Mute Jammers that can deny any drones or any attacker gadgets that are electronic, so you can put them in places that very, very much help your team, and if you want to roam, you can use them, and it very much helps you. The only thing holding me back is that he does kind of require a team and a strat to be able to play him, and you can't run around and just get kills with him. Also, if you're playing on certain sites, they require you to have a certain amount of these jammers on the site because your teammates will rely on you for that anti-wall. So he is more of a support than he is a fragger or a flex, in my opinion, and that's why I didn't put him on this list. Our second honorable mention is going to be Mozzie for the exact same reason that it is mute, um, except he just doesn't provide as much utility as the other people on this list do. And that's really all that I can say about Mozzie. There are other people that do his job that you can roam with, that bring way more utility, a little bit better weapons, uh, and overall, Mozzie just didn't really fit on my list here. Also, I want to say before we get into the top one, I'm not ranking these operators from best to worst. Uh, Ella, in my opinion, is better than Thunderbird, Legion, and Capcan, but still under Thunderbird just for the sake of this list being what you should rank up with, not what operator is better. Um, so don't take into account any of these operators being better or worse. I did make an operator tier list in case you're curious about that, um, but... That all aside, let's get into the number one operator. Okay, the number one operator that you should be playing to rank up on defense in Rainbow Six Siege is going to be Valkyrie. Now, Valkyrie is amazing as she brings three almost unseeable cameras to the team. You can use these cameras and throw them outside to run out and spawn peak opponents. She provides amazing utility even after she dies with her cameras. Looking into her loadout, she brings the MPX. Uh, kind of a pea shooter in terms of an SMG. It has okay fire rate, okay damage. You have 30 rounds and there's almost zero recoil though, so if you can hit heads, this thing absolutely shreds. 
Uh, don't use your shotgun, it's terrible. That's all I really need to say about that. She also brings a deagle, which opens up a little more possibilities for opening walls and making plays there. Uh, damage is great, only has seven bullets though, but it's a deagle. Going into her secondary gadget, she has impacts and nitro cell. You always want to bring nitro cell as you can set up cameras anywhere you want to. Pre-place those nitro cells, and if anybody walks on top of those nitro cells, you can always activate it by looking on your cameras, and you get free kills that way. Overall, she is the best information operator on defense, arguably in the game. One of the most broken operators in the game. Uh, definitely needs to get nerfed. Coming with the nerf in year 7, you're going to be able to throw her cameras outside, but they're only going to last 10 seconds before getting turned off. 10 seconds is still a lot of time though as you can still probably run out and spawn peek with it um, but other than that yeah i think valkyrie is definitely the best operator that you can solo queue with to rank up in rainbow six siege that's going to be it for today's video the reason i didn't put common roamers like cav or vigil on this list um, is because yes they do get frags and they're good at what they do but you can always get frags and roam with other operators that provide more utility to your team and honestly winning rounds matters more than getting kills and this is a list on operators that you should bring to win and rank up not to get kills if you want to see a video on that i might make a video on the best five fraggers on defense i don't know that seems a little repetitive but that's pretty much it for the video don't forget to sub i'm uploading twice a week now once on tuesday once on friday and on my other social media platforms like instagram youtube reels tiktok i'm trying to upload once a day so go check out all those platforms links are in the description and yeah if you like the video like it if you dislike the video dislike it and we'll see you in the next one